Hi everyone, uh, my name's Matt. Um, I've got two websites uh, coming out. First one is uh, plasmaperformance.com and the second one is uh, iusewateraisfuel.com. Um, I've, uh, I keep getting a video posted on my wall and I see it on other people posting it on other people's walls and groups on Facebook. Um, there's a guy named Fast Freddy and he's claiming that he's running a vehicle on water. Um, being H2O uh, or HHO or H2O202. Um, I think I got that right. Anyways, that's probably not right. Um, so um, my issue is is that um, I, I actually am pretty good at networking. So I had um, I, I actually already have a little group of people that, uh, that want to try and help uh, help out the world. Um, and so I figured, you know, last summer I would invite him to this group. Um, he uh, he has um, he doesn't know. Uh, first of all, he didn't know what liters per minute was. Um, I I crunched some math and figured, okay, well, let's just say he's using a four liter engine. I was wrong about that because I was thinking. I uh, actually I said a four point three liter engine, and um, I estimated that he was using fifty five liters a minute. Um, I, if you guys want to see an actual vehicle running on HHO. Um, look up Geo Geo Metro eight uh, HHO. Um, it'll bring up a vehicle, and the guy's got about two or three videos. Um, I've had a few conversations with him. He's told me that um, an efficient cell will um, will use about a uh, hundred watts per liter. So um, so Fast Freddy is saying that he is using 50 amps to produce 50 liters a minute. Um, here, here are the numbers. So I did 12 times 50 equals 600 watts, which would be 600 liters a minute. Uh, sorry, 6 liters a minute. Um, I then figured, okay, he says he's producing 50 liters a minute. So 50 liters a minute at a, a 100 watts each is 5,000 watts. Um, so that would be 12 volts at 416.66 amps. That means that he's got to have another alternator in there or a welding alternator. And when I saw the video, it did not look like he had one. Um, he may be using a, a motor pulse width modulator, which um, doesn't. It, it's not a Stanley Myers uh, design. It. Uh, he doesn't ever talk about high frequency, uh, high voltage. And in order to receive anything that is over unity compared to conventional um, electrolysis, you're going to want to produce um, high, high voltage. Um, so here, here are the numbers: 3.7 liter. And um, by the way, the 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 guy at uh, that ran the geo um, corrected and said that he was using 13 liters a minute. His um, his uh, gas flow gauge wasn't uh, wasn't correct because it's made for oxygen and not hydrogen. So um, and, if, and and let's just say he's running at a thousand RPM, which is probably above what that engine normally idles at. Um, so um, we'll say Fast Freddy is idling at say 1200 RPM. But how about we just keep it the same, just just to make things easier. Um, so a 3.7 liter, I found out all the engine sizes for, for Dodges. So there's a 3.7 liter, 4.7, a 5.7, and we know he's not using anything bigger than that. Um, at 13 liters a minute for the 3.7 liter, he would have to have 48 liters a minute, 48.1 to be exact. That's a V6 engine. Um, 44.7 uh, liter is 61.1 liters a minute for a V8. Um, a 5.7 liter would be 74.1 liters per minute, and that's a Hemi. Um, I would assume that he's using between the 3.7 and the 4.7. Um, he's telling everybody he's using 55 liters a minute because I gave him rough numbers, and I said, well, that's probably what you'd have to use, but that's at idle. So now let's say he's using 1,000 RPM. Um, so we go 1,000 RPM at 48 liters a minute. Now let's take that number. We're going to just actually round it because at this amount it doesn't matter. So let's let's round the, the 48 liters a minute to 50 just to be easier. Okay. So we're going to take 50 liters a minute and at 1,000 RPM. Now, let, now let's, let's 
you know, accelerate a little bit. Let's go to about 2,000 RPM. So that means we're going to be using almost 100 liters a minute. Well, now we're going to get on the highway and we're going to go between 3 and 4,000 RPM. Usually the average is 3,300 from what I've noticed. Um, so now we're talking between 150 and 200 liters a minute. There is no way that that cell can produce that. The amount of energy that it would be required to do that would be exorbitant. It'd just be impossible. So um, he, I'm actually, when you, after you're done watching this video, look in the description. I've actually taken the message that he sent me um, and I've posted it and I will be posting it so you can all read exactly what he says to me. So basically what he's using is a fuel rail uh, similar to a NAS um, injection uh, through the intake. He's got a canister on the side which you see two tubes going to and um, that will be one will be for his hydrogen and one will be for his oxygen and HHO mix. Um, that's my assumption. I, I'm pretty sure that's what he would do because he would obviously want to increase the, the, the flammable uh, sort of the octane rate of the oxygen itself. So, um, so he uh, he said that um, he was uh, he he actually was using two tanks an o, an O2 and a H2 tank, and um, if you look in the video um, in the beginning, first of all, you don't see a massive alternator to be able to put out that output. Second of all, you do see the tank, which is a mixing tank. Um, third, if you look in the part where he shows his cell. Um, zero fossil fuel says that, that it looks about 10 liters a minute, but if he's under high pressure, it would look like less, and if it was under vacuum, it would look like more. Well, um, there is no way that that cell can put out that much. Um, if you look at the beginning of uh, the video, um, he shows when he turns the unit on, and he gets up to about 6 liters a minute. Well, he walks, if you look at the time that it took from when he got to 6 liters a minute to the time that he walked around, to, to the other side, you look carefully, he's now at 20 liters a minute. Some numbers aren't really working out right here. Um, I definitely call the word bullshit. Um, so anyways, um, if you notice, he's got a, a hose that's tucked in behind where you can't see. I would guarantee that hose does not go to the engine and that hose comes from the O2 tank. He's mixing the O2 and the H2 in through a tank in through his HHO cell and then he's got another tank that you cannot see and that's running to the um, to the um, to the mixer so um, so with all these amounts of uh, energy that would be required it is just absolutely impossible uh, zero fossil fuel sees it I see it he's producing between six and ten liters a minute if he's lucky um, I, I, I'm getting sick and tired of um, people for the last 30 years trying to rip other people off in this industry. Um, there's a few of us coming out that are going to actually have Myers technology and uh, give the people hope and reduce the energy consumption. Um, I, I've got two cells that I've designed that are made out of uh, the, the top quality plastics. Um, once I'm actually in production, I'll be improving that plastic so that thing can actually take a firing range. Um, I'm using a 316L, which is the highest grade stainless steel that, that you know, it's readily available. Most people are using 304 and, um, and it's not as good. You can actually take a 304 magnet, sorry, you can take 304 and 316L and a neodymium magnet will actually stick to the 304, which shows that there's more iron content and the 316L, it will absolutely not stick. So, um, so I just want you guys to know that um, that uh, that if you guys actually ever see anything that you question, um, pass it over to Zero Fossil Fuels. Let them know. Uh, pass it over to me. Let me know. Uh, I have a friend named Mike Powers. Let him know. Um, we we don't want other people to be taken advantage of. If someone tells you they can run their engine completely on water, well, there's a possibility that they can do that. But the fact is, is that there, there's so many people trying to get rich on saying that they can, um, that it's just, it, it's not right. Um, so, um, I, I hope I've uh, informed everyone. That's the whole point of this. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, please again feel free to ask. Um, I'm going to actually be coming out with some information on the water fuel spark plug. Um, I've actually been replicating lately, so uh, I'll, uh, I'll probably do a video just showing those. 
Um, anyways, I'm out. It's 10 minutes, and I try to make a, make it my limit, but I always go over. Um, take care, everyone. Uh, keep experimenting, and uh, keep spreading the word and let people know.